Hey y'all, it's Lacey, the Catholic Icing Lady, and today I'm going to show you how to draw God Bless America. But first, I wanted to give a little shout out to my friend Magdalene. She used my How to Draw the Eucharist and How to Draw a Monstrance video to make her very own really adorable First Communion invitations. And just like a lot of you, she made a request for me to get back to doing my How to Draw videos. So I'm really looking forward to drawing with all of you again, and we're going to get started today. Okay, today we're going to draw this God Bless America sign, and it's going to be all across our paper, but we're going to start with a star that's going to go right in the middle. So I'm going to show you step by step how to draw this star, and it's going to be easier than it looks and turn out really cool. So first you're going to draw a straight line coming down, and then you're going to have two lines coming out of the bottom to make it look like an upside down Y. As much as possible, you want these lines to all be the, about the same length. So I'm gonna do another one on this side and give myself an upside down Y. Now I'm gonna actually turn my paper because we're gonna add two more lines coming out of these sides. So I'm gonna turn my paper and I'm gonna cover this line at the bottom because I wanna put one line right in the middle of those two top lines. And so that's gonna help me visualize what the middle is. So it gives me kind of two V shapes. So I'm gonna turn my paper again. I'm gonna cover those two lines so that I can see where the middle is. And I'm gonna make another line coming right out of the middle. So you end up with this kind of a star shape with five lines. They're all about the same length. Now we're gonna come in between each one of these and make one short line. Again, as much right in the middle as you can and they should be about the same length as the other short lines. So one in the middle between each of your long lines. So now we kind of have like a little star inside of a star. Now what we're gonna do is go around and connect the ends of all these points all the way around from the tall one to the short one to the tall one to the short one, all the way around it. So we're gonna start here at the top and I'm just gonna bring a straight line and meet the short line. Then I'm gonna bring a line over from the short line and go up to the tall one right beside it, just like that. Now down to this short line, like that, and connect the next one. So we're gonna go all the way around the star like this, connecting the short lines to the tall lines that are beside them. So I'm gonna connect this one And I'm gonna bring this one down. See how fast this became a really cool three-dimensional looking star. Okay, I've got another one to connect down here. There you go. Look at that really cool star that you just drew. This is going to be perfect for making a 4th of July sign. Okay, so now we're ready to add in some of our words. So we're gonna write God on this side and bless on this side. So we're gonna start here with the word God. So I'm gonna do a big capital G and then a lowercase o and a lowercase d. Just really simple handwriting like that. Then to make it a little special, I'm gonna put in little balls at the end of each you know, stick of my letters and one on this o here. So that just makes them a little bit special. Now I'm gonna write bless on this side and I'm also going to capitalize that word. So we're gonna start with a big B. So if you're really into lettering and you know some really fun or cute letters that you know how to draw, you can draw your own cute letters. This is just a really easy way to write with some really plain looking letters, but then easily dress it up a little bit with the dots. 
and just make it look a little bit special. So I'm going to come in and add my dots to my word bless. There we go. Now we're going to write America at, across the bottom, but first I'm going to draw a banner to write it in on. So we're going to start with one kind of long curvy line. It's going to be kind of shaped like a rainbow. So I'm going to start with a curvy line like that. Now I'm going to make two short lines coming down about the same length, just down. Then I'm going to make another curvy rainbow line across the bottom to connect to those two short lines that we just drew. So it's really going to give me kind of a, a rainbow shape. And that's how we're going to start with our banner shape. So that is perfect. Now to make it look a little bit more banner like, I'm going to come in on the sides with a sideways W and then it's going to curve around like a backwards letter C to meet the corner of that banner. So on the other side, I'm going to do a sideways W the other way and then kind of like a letter C curving around and meeting the banner. Now we just need one more line and these lines are going to go straight up from that C shape and make like a tiny triangle. And that's going to give us a really cool three dimensional banner that kind of looks like it's waving. Okay, so now I'm gonna count the number of letters in America, and we have seven. So that means we're gonna have three letters on one side, three letters on the other side, and one letter that's in the middle. And the letter that's in the middle is the letter R. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the R right in the middle, and that's gonna ensure that the word America is actually centered in my banner. So now I'm gonna go ahead and write in the second half of the word here. And then when I write in the first half of the word, I'm just going to draw the letters in backwards. So I'm going to do the E, then I'm going to do the M, then I'm going to draw the A. And that's just a trick that I use to help myself get things centered. Because I hate when I start writing a word and then it's not in the middle. I'm going to give that an exclamation point. And we are ready to color our God Bless America. Now for the star, I'm going to make it kind of like an American flag. So I'm going to make the three sections here, here, and here. Like they're going to be blue, so the rest of it can be red and white striped, kind of like the American flag. So I'm going to do, and you don't have to do this, but I'm taking my blue marker and I'm putting in some stars here that I'm going to end up coloring around and just leave the white space so that I get white stars. As you can see, I'm really not doing a perfect job. It's really not going to matter. It's just having any kind of white empty spaces here is definitely going to give the impression of stars. So even if you just left like white circles in this area, so you can take your blue marker and just even make um, blue circles or you can make this star shape like this. So when you have all the stars in, which I'm almost done here, what you're going to do is color around them leaving them white. And you can see it really didn't leave, like some of them really don't seem like star shapes at all anymore. Definitely could be white polka dots, but it gives the impression of having that blue place on the flag with white stars. So now I'm gonna go in and make every other space red because that's gonna give the impression of the red and white stripes. And the cool thing about this star that we drew is it feels very three-dimensional. So it really has a really cool look. Now I'm going to go into my banner and make it kind of a golden brown color. My Prismacolor markers, this is the golden rod color is what it's called. And now I'm going to take my red and kind of go around the God and bless words. But I'm kind of going to the top and on the left side of them. So I'm not tracing over the black lines exactly, but just kind of adding a red line that's a little bit off to the side. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's just a way to add a little more color to your picture. Then I'm going to take the blue and I'm just going to add some fun lines. Again, I just want it to be really red, white, and blue. And, you know, I'm adding them in bunches of three. Now I'm going to come in and add some like simple stars that you make, like an asterisk. So it's like 
an X with an extra line through the middle of it. And I'm gonna add them in little clusters together. So like two or three to grouped together and in different sizes. And it just helps add some blue to the picture too. You could add whatever doodles or patriotic symbols or fireworks or whatever you want around your picture. But for today, I'm gonna to call mine finished. You guys did such a great job and I love when you send your pictures in. I absolutely love seeing them. So be sure to submit your pictures, submit your ideas, and I'll see you in the next video.